Hi, I'm Brent. Today we're going to talk about some of the common fault codes you can have with a Subaru and one of the main ones is the secondary air pump fault code. Now there's about three or four codes that are related to this, but it's specifically related to this product here, which is an air pump that sits in the engine bay here and on cold start um, it injects air into the exhaust manifold and make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so we can talk about some other helpful tips and tricks where you can get more info off our website. So what this fault code does um, was introduced on the early model Subarus around 2006 like this uh, Hawkeye model which was first delivered with the electronic throttle. And the way to tell the electronic throttle you can see on the top of the uh, butterfly here which is what controls the intake air to the inlet manifold is it's electronically controlled. You don't have a cable going back to your accelerator pedal. Um, previous model to 06, there was a Forester model that had, was electronic throttle but didn't have secondary air pumps. But typically we're talking about the 06 WRX, STI, um, Forester and uh, Liberty uh, Legacy if you're overseas GT turbo models. And there also um, comes out on the uh, non-turbo models as well but for the sake of this video we're only going to talk about the turbo models because the non-turbo models have a different ECU that can't be uh, custom tuned. So what we're talking about now is the modifications you can do for a vehicle that is not on the road. It's an emissions modification and it's a solution for fixing the secondary fault code which occurs on this pump and also there are two valves, and you can't see them in this engine bay, but there is a valve that connects to the left hand and a separate valve that connects to the right hand exhaust manifold that opens and closes in conjunction with the air being pumped out of this air pump that runs in around the first five minutes of cold start to get the car to light off the catalytic converters to pass an emissions cold start test. Because after cold start, the pump no longer works, the valves are no longer required, and the engine will go into its normal operating mode for normal um, I was going to say road use, but off-road use. So what happens is over a period of time is this pump, um, because it only operates for a very short period of time, can get um, a condensation in it, which is a characteristic of just the car sitting around. Um, when you start a car up, the, uh, the solution that comes out of the exhaust is typically condensation or water that collects in the exhaust system. When the car warms up, everything gets hot and it all evaporates and then you don't see any more coming out of the exhaust. But what can happen is it sits inside the pump and can sit inside the valves. And over a period of time, the valves in the pump can corrode. And eventually what happens is they seize, they stop working, and then it throws a fault code on the dash, which then turns off your cruise control and it brings a light on the dash, which then is typically secondary air pump fault code for the pump or the valves. And to solve this and fix these problems, um, genuine parts from Subaru supplied and fitted are anywhere between two and three thousand dollars. So what you can do if um, you wanted to, you can come to us through one of our custom tuners around Australia and remembering this is for off-road use only, we can then um, turn the fault code off in the factory ECU, custom tuning the factory ECU, so you eliminate the need to replace the mechanical parts we then unplug the parts so they never will operate again and straight away you've eliminated the problem with the car without having to spend several thousand dollars fixing it and then you can opt at the same time for a performance upgrade through the factory ECU which make the car go even better or you can just stick with a standard uh, tune eliminating those fault codes as well. And the good thing is, is because we write the tunes and the diagnostic work all of our cells um, you've got the peace of mind knowing that you've got the reliability of MRT backing up those tunes with guaranteed uh, lifetime warranty on any of the mechanical mods that are a result of being so supplied to fix this problem through an electronic tune. So there you have it. If you've got a secondary air pump fault code on your Subaru, um, this is one solution. There are a very limited number of the non-turbo models that we can do a similar thing, but unfortunately, um, most of those cars have a different type of ECU that can't be custom tuned, so you've got to go for the alternative. We do have a lot of these that we've removed out of performance modified uh, race cars, so if you're looking for a good second hand one to get you out of trouble if you want something instead we can supply those, but if you're looking for more performance, the electronic option is certainly a good way to go for if you just want a standard tune to turn the fault codes off, that's the other alternative. So. I mentioned earlier in my video, make sure you check out some other technical information and tips on our new website of mrttuned.com.au. You'll find some really helpful information about this particular model as well. 
and uh, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Make a comment on this video. Make sure you remember to subscribe for other updates and um, look forward to helping you more in the future. For today, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.